guys, my name is Abid from Pastor LK and we are here at the Ocean Sea Food Lounge for the Indonesian Food Festival. And with us today, we have an esteemed chef, Mr. William Wongsu. Mr. William, it's a pleasure having you here with us today. Tell me, tell me a basic introduction about the dish or the dishes you made today. Look, uh, I'd like to introduce what the famous uh, SS1, one CNN was voted one of the most uh, favorite dishes in the world is called rendang from Western Sumatra. But normally, when we cook rendang, minimum four hours, when you do cube. But uh, just to show all these Asian uh, ladies, the transformation from white to black, I mean, from white coconut cream into the caramelized beef curry, but mutton curry, I'm using uh, minced mutton, just to make a, a, a shorter term to, to cook. It takes about one hour to caramelize the whole curry. And that was the, the first one. And the second one, I'm doing the uh, salmon simmer in fresh herb broth. I mean, herb is the slices of uh, galanga, ginger, garlic, uh, turmeric, uh, shallot, and uh, lemongrass. Except uh, normally uh, I like to put this uh, billing, billing, billing fruit, but it's not every day available. We we use we changing with the with the lime juice to have the very fresh, refreshing. Does it give off the same taste when you use lime juice instead? No, it's it's not exactly the same taste, but uh, we can apply to that to get the sour taste for this uh, very refreshing soup. Were you sticking to the traditional Indonesian recipe of this? We do a traditional on the traditional recipe, except it's not common in use in uh, Colombo. It's a lime leaf, coffee lime leaf, so we can we can uh, just so don't. There was no any uh, way of incorporating the Sri Lankan culture into this dish, no? Purely Indonesian. Purely Indonesian. Purely. If you were someone who tasted this dish for the first time, what would you say? Well. I think they will get the surprises because, uh, like the mutton, it's not normal curry that you understand. But this is a caramelized curry. It can be beef, it can be chicken or mutton. We specially do mutton because some people doesn't eat beef here. Sure. Yeah. For the fish soup, uh, the, the the Thai lady would relate it to their own uh, fish called tom yam gong. As long as uh, this one, Pinang Serani Salmon, is not as spicy as Tom Yam Gong. Just one last question. Were you able to use all the ingredients you need? Now, obviously, in Indonesia, you have a specific set of in, uh, ingredients, yeah? Were you able to uh, use those ingredients here in Sri Lanka? Or did you have a bit of a difficulty curbing here and there? Not all, but uh, we can sort, manage and cook according to what's available here. Thank you very much, Mr. William. Looking forward to enjoying your meal and obviously all of you stay tuned to find out more as to how this dish is made, the, the amount of time it takes to cook a dish like this and obviously if you're lucky enough, you may might get the chance to taste it yourself. Once again, thank you very much, Mr. William. It's a pleasure having you here with us. Thank you. And the basic spices you see on the, uh, on the uh, recipe, very easy, chili, if you want to be more spicy, you add chili paddy, a small one. Galangal, garlic, ginger, shallot, lemongrass. What back home, we add kaffir lime leaf. We also add the leaf of turmeric. Some, they use turmeric also. But some food today, we don't use turmeric. Um, there are many types of, this is basic, is the curry. What is the difference with rendang padang or rendang Malaysia? The rendang padang, we finalize with caramelization. This is very important, otherwise it's not called rendang. One step before the black and the caramelization, we call it kalio. So with one recipe, with different step of cooking, you can do beef curry. If you add some stock, 
and and the middle brown curry we call it kalio, and the finalized we do with uh, as uh, caramelization we call it rendang, padang or rendang Sumatra. Just interrupt me, don't worry. You see from white, when you put, we have to cook, continuous cooking. and then we just take it out. So we want all the flavor going to the soup. 